Come, sweet spirit, I pray. Come, in your strength and your power. Come, in your spirit. Shall we come, Holy Spirit? We need you. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come. In your strength and your power, come in your special way. Oh, come, Holy Spirit, I need you. Come, sweet spirit, I pray. Come, in your strength and your power. Come, in your own special way. Give me you, everything else can wait. Give me you, I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you, Lord, give me you, Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. It's me, oh Lord. I am on my knees, crying out to you. It's me, oh Lord. I'm on my knees, crying out to you. Give me you, Jesus, give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Abba Father, oh, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. It's me, oh God. It's me, oh Lord. I am on my knees, crying out to you. Give me you. Give me you, Lord. Everything else can wait. Lord, give me you. I just hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Jesus, Lord, give me you. I need you, God. Lord, give me you. Jesus, Lord, give me you. I beg you, Jesus, Lord, give me you. 
It's me, oh God, it's me, oh Lord. I am on my knees, crying out to you. Give me you, Jesus. Give me you, Lord. Everything else can wait, Jesus. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late, Jesus. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Yes, Lord, I need you. Jesus, give me you. Hallelujah. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late, Jesus. This life don't make any sense without you. Give me you, Abba Father. Lord, we need you, Jesus. We as a people need you. Lord, we want you, Jesus. Lord, we want you. Jesus, we need you. We on our own can't make it, Jesus. We need you. Abba Father, we can't do it on our own, God. We need you. Jesus, 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 here we are this morning. Here we are this morning, God, as a people. Oh, God Almighty, we need you. Jesus, we need you as a people, God. We need you. We can't make decisions on our own, God. We need you. We can't go further, God, unless we have you. This life don't make any sense without you, Jesus. We need you, our Father. We need you. We need the man on our side, the man of war on our side. We need the one who, when he lifts up his right hand, he dashed the enemy into pieces. We need you, Jesus. We need the author and the finisher on our side. We need you, our Father, the one who can change our story, the one who can for our life, the one who can mend, the one who can heal, the one who can mold, the one who can transform. We need you on our side, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, in every ear, in every part, we need you, our Father. I give myself to you. We as a people give ourselves to you, God Almighty. I give my body to you, my soul, my body, my mind. It is yours this morning. It is yours this morning. Oh God, I withhold nothing from you. I withhold nothing from you this morning, God. This life that I have, it is yours. It is yours, Abba Father. It is yours. This body, God Almighty, will not be an instrument for sin, instrument for evil. But this body, oh God Almighty, this body will be an instrument of righteousness, an instrument of righteousness, pleasing my Father, pleasing my Father pleasing my father that is my desire that is my desire my body will worship you my mind will glorify you god almighty and not glorify my flesh oh god almighty the lost of the eyes will be far from me the lost of the flesh i declare it i make no provision for the flesh oh god almighty i make no provision for the flesh oh god almighty i make no 
provision for the flesh. I make no provision for the flesh. Oh God, but you, 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 oh God Almighty, will rule in my life. Sin will not rule in my mortal body. Oh God Almighty, sin will not rule in my mortal body, but I will use this body to glorify you. Oh God Almighty, we as a people will use our body to glorify you, to magnify you, to crown and celebrate you because you're a good God. You're a good God. You're a faithful God. You are a good God. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 you are great and greatly to be praised. You are above all. You are above all. Mighty are you, God. Mighty are you, God. Lord Jesus, I tell you thanks. I tell you thanks for who you are. I tell you thanks. Come and live with us, God. Come and live with us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Take your place, oh God. Be enthroned, Jesus. Take your place, oh God. Be enthroned, Abba Father. Take your place, oh God. Be enthroned, be enthroned, be enthroned, be enthroned, Abba Father. Take your place. Take your place, Jesus. Take your place, Jesus. Take your place, oh God Almighty. Take your place in the hospital this morning. Take your place, oh God Almighty, in the sick this morning. Take your place, oh God Almighty. Take your place in the taxi this morning. Take your place, take your place in somebody's bed this morning. Take your place, God Almighty. Take your place, Jesus. Take your place, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Take your place, God Almighty. Take your place, oh Jesus. I know you're working it out for good for somebody this morning. I know that your plans that you promised God to prosper, oh God, and not to harm, oh God, to give hope and a future is coming to pass in somebody's life this morning. I know that you're encouraging somebody this morning to be strong, oh God. I know you're encouraging somebody this morning to be courageous. I know you're encouraging somebody this morning to not be afraid, but to stand up, oh God Almighty, and to declare the word of the Lord. I know, God Almighty, that you're encouraging somebody's spirit this morning, oh God Almighty, to, to, to stand firm, oh God Almighty, to stand firm, knowing that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against the enemy that I stand up against them day and night. I know God Almighty, I know God Almighty that somebody will testify that me and my house is serving the Lord. I know somebody will testify this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You're not a man that you should lie, or the son of man that you should repent. What you say is what you will do. Oh God Almighty, you will restore what the locust has eaten. You will restore what the caterpillar has eaten. You will restore Almighty God, and everything will work together for good. We declare newness. We declare newness in this atmosphere we declare newness over our community we declare newness in our church we declare newness in our home we declare newness in the name of jesus christ of nazareth newness in the name of jesus newness make a way in the wilderness make a way in the wilderness of our father make a way in the wilderness in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we believe god and we stand on your word. We stand on your word. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But this morning, Abba Father, this morning I declare in the atmosphere that I trust in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way this morning, oh God. Let your will be done.
Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, we bless you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Spirit of the Living God, what a mighty God we serve this morning. Jesus, Hallelujah. Touchdown this morning. Lord, I give you me. Everything else can wait. Jesus, Jesus. I give you me today. Everything else must Mighty wait. Lord. While you Mighty have your way on this altar this morning. Thank Everything, you, Jesus. God. Hallelujah. Thank I you, give Mighty you my Lord. sacrifice this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Good morning, faith walkers. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. The spirit of the Lord is on this altar this morning. Welcome, everyone. If there's any newcomer, welcome, 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 welcome. And I know that the spirit has ignited a word in it, the Lord's servant coming to deliver to us this morning. Oh, is our national evangelist, Beecher. Ah, God. Holy Spirit, move upon this altar this morning. As you move upon our children, oh God, oh God, as we put our children, oh God, it's over to you, Evangelist Beecher. It's over to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Abba Father, we just want to exalt you this morning. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you praise. We acknowledge that you are God and you are Lord. Father, at this moment, mighty God, I relinquish all legal rights to you to operate and to act, to carry out business, to do transaction on my behalf. Our God, right now, God, I place Sister Rochelle before you. Father, as your daughter ministered, as your daughter cried out, Father, there was a hidden cry in the heart of your daughter. Our Father, we pray that you will administer healing. We pray, God, that whatsoever your daughter need, whatsoever she desire, my God, whatsoever stress, whatsoever trial, whatsoever persecution, mighty God, whatsoever temptation, mighty God, she's faced with, mighty God, we pray this morning that you will provide a way of escape in the name of Jesus. We pray, almighty God, that she will abide by your grace. She will abide in you, Almighty God, as you abide in her, bestow your love, bestow your blessing upon your daughter. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. Shall we bless the Lord? Bless the name of bless Jesus. The name of praise Jesus. the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. 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 Let me greet. Let me greet my mother. My mother Foster this morning. And I greet all the saints who are online this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are here this week celebrating children. We are placing our children before Abba. We are lifting them up. We are setting the foundation for them to build on. And of such, this morning, I want to speak to us in brief on the rights of the children. I won't be preaching my assignment. This morning is to speak about the rights of the children as it relates to the Convention Act. We all know that according to UNICEF, according to the Convention Act that was developed in 1989, this act stipulated that children have quite a number of rights. Bless the name of Jesus. And as Christians, it is our duty to enforce these rights, especially among our children. A lot of persons are not aware 
that the ill treatment faced by the nation's children should not be so. Unfortunately, even though we are in Christendom, we are found guilty of committing crime against these stipulated acts. Bless the name of Jesus. But this morning, I just want to refresh us or to introduce for those who don't know some of the basic rights of a child as it relates to the act. And then I'm going to be looking at what the Bible dictates as the right of a child. We know that we are Christians. We're of the Christian religion and of such. The Holy Bible is what we use to govern ourselves, our children. So we will be looking at the nation's rights and then we'll be looking at it from a biblical perspective. Now, the definition put out of a child is that a child is any person under the age of 18. Unfortunately, we have some youngsters in our home who are under the age of 18, but we allow them to act as if they are adults. We give them that privilege to act and behave as if they are adults and you realize what the statement i made is that we allow them because we are the adults in the home and we are the one who set the standard and the principle and of such we have to ensure that a child know that he or she is a child and if you are a person like me as long as that individual lives under my roof, doesn't matter what age limit, there are going to be rules and regulation that that individual abides by. But in Christendom nowadays, we find out not only the secular world, but we find out that we allow our children to dictate to us. And oftentimes you wonder who is a child and who is the adult and this is one of the main reason why we have conflicts in the home because there's no clear definition there's no clear cut line as to where the child stop and where parenting begins but be re reminded this morning that a child is anyone under the age of 18 and of such, this convention will govern this child. You know? So there are things that a child should not do under the age of 18, and we're getting to that. According to the UNICEF, the Convention on the Rights of the Child, it spells out the basic human rights that every child under 18 has. And they place them in four categories. And they said the right to survival. As Christians, our children have the right to survive in this time, in this season. It doesn't matter what we are faced with. It doesn't matter what the economy is saying to us. If the secular children have the right to survive, much less ours, who are Christians, who are not just anybody, but we have become royalty. And the Bible said that we should fret not ourselves about tomorrow. If we close the lilies of the field, we're going, and Solomon was not, the Bible said that Solomon was not so beautiful as the lilies of the field. And we knew that Solomon was rich. And if he closes the lilies of the field, then it's an assurance to us that he's going to close us, that we are going to survive. So yes, the law dictates that every child has the right to survive. And in Christendom, we have that right multiple times because we have it in the secular world. And now that we're Christian, we, we, we have assurance that our children are going to survive in this time. They have the right 
to develop to the fullest. In other words, no child should be deprived of the right to be a child. No child should be seen indulging in child labor, sexual acts that belong to adults, to be indulged in activities that are classified as adult activities. But our children have the right to be children, to develop from stage to stage, from being a baby to a toddler, to adolescent, to a teenager, into adulthood. Our children should not be deprived of the development stages. And if we in Christendom realize that we are def we are preventing our children from developing, then we are found guilty under the Child Care and Protection Act. So this morning, I'm, re I'm reminding us that our children has the right to develop to the fullest. Oftentimes, we might be guilty as it relates to workload, because we Jamaicans have a tendency to just give them the work and say, do this, do that. But we must be cognizant of the fact that there are children and these things must be done in stages as it relates to their development period. The right to protection from harmful influence, abuse, and exploitation. It is our right to protect our children from everything that will harm us, harm them. Everything that is active in society, the gangs, the drugs, the bad influence at school, the bad influence at church sounds funny, but there are churches with bad influence. It is our right to protect our children from abuse. And I hope we are not the set of Christians who abuse our children and use the name of Jesus to rectify, to say that the Bible said, train not, spoil not the arm." Um, Spoil not the child and spare the rod. I hope we are not found in that category. Oftentimes, persons will look at abuse as just physical abuse, abusing persons with belts and fists or an object, inflicting harm upon that child's body. Sometimes persons look on abuse as just sexual abuse, the child being involved in explicit sexual activity, the child being raped, the child being molested. But I want to zero in this morning on something that we as Christians might be guilty of, and that is the emotional abuse. We might not be guilty of sexually abusing our children, physically abusing our children, socially abusing our children, environmentally abusing our children, but we might be guilty of emotional abuse in the sense that the words that we say to them, the words that we say to them have deep, meaning they cut to the very core. Sometimes we say that they are not good for anything. We compare them to a parent, probably a parent who is not present in their lives. We compare them to other person's children we look on the success of other person's children and we use that to hurl stones of abuse, emotional abuse to our children. But I stop to remind us this morning that our children have the right to be protected from abuse. And I trust and hope that as Christians, we are not found guilty. And if we are, 
there is time to seek forgiveness from the Holy Spirit. And we are never or will not be too old to say to our child, to say to our children, please forgive me for that which I have done. And oftentimes our children grow with re resentment and neglect, especially resentment to us, is because they would have realized that we would have wronged them. And all they simply want to hear from us is that I am sorry. Saints of God, we are not too holy to say I am sorry to our children. Just as how we go to Jesus, when we commit our sins, we go to Jesus and we seek, we beg and we beseech, we cry, we holler, and we ask for forgiveness and we are pardoned. Likewise, we need to go to our children, even some of them who would have been grown. We have some grown children. We need to go to them and we need to seek their forgiveness for the emotional hurt and discomfort that we would have put them through. Bless the name of Jesus. There's also the right to participate fully in family, cultural, and a social life, yes. However, we go back to the right that says the right to protection from harmful influence. If we realize that these cultural and social experience are going to harm them, then it is also our right to protect them from these cultural and social experiences. And in Christendom, we, we, we know what is happening out in the secular world. And we want to ensure that our children are brought up according to the word of God and according to our norms, our values as Christians. So we have the right to protect them from the harmful influence of society. The four core principles of the conventions further dictate, dictates non-discrimination. All children have the right not to be discriminated. No matter who they are. No matter where they live. What language they speak what religion sometimes as christians we, we 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 tend to discriminate against religion but we have to be careful because we should not discriminate against our children right whether they are rich or they're poor it doesn't matter who their families are no child should be treated unfairly You know, sometimes some persons have some back to school treat and some children treat at their church. And they tend to look out for, for example, the pastor's children. Oh, they're the pastor's children. So they should get this and they should get that. Or, oh, they're Sister Beach's children. So they should get this and they should get that. No. It should not be so. It should be equality across the board when it comes on to the nation children and also when it comes on to the children of God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. All right. Bless the Lord. Silence Hallelujah. means that we are listening. Amen. Hearing. We also have the devotion, devotion to the best interest of the child. Parents, we must act according to the best interest of the child. And this is often played out in a custody battle. 
mother and a father have disagreements or let's go a little bit wider the father is overseas the mother is in jamaica the father wants the child and the mother is holding hard end because of the financial support that she might not receive but the right dictates that the decision should be made in the best interest of the child which of the parents is better able to financially support that child to give the child the basic needs not because mommy and daddy might be separated but at the end of the day whatever decision is taken even if there's no separation whatever decision is taken in the home you should also think about how this decision will affect children oftentimes persons get up and they have a divorce without even consulting the children without even sitting them down and say daddy and i will no longer be together it is in the best interest of the child sometimes we get up and as simple as we might think it is we decide to change job to relocate to migrate from one parish to another and we did not have the conversation with the child how is it that we know that the child will not be affected so the best interest of the child it spans widely it's broad it's not just about care for the child, but you have to look at the emotional aspect, the social aspect. How is it that whatever decision you make will affect that child? So it is our responsibility to ensure that whatever decision we make it is in the best interest of the child now the the convention act has 42 42 articles under it of which i will not go through this morning but i just wanted to zero in on those points there's act like family guidance and chil children develop. Okay, we went through that. Name and nationality, identity. Now, the church is faced with a dilemma. Not the church, the entire world is faced with a dilemma as it relates to identity. It says, that the act says children have the right to their own identity an official record of who they are, which includes their name, nationality, and family relations. No one should take this away from them. But if this happens, government must help children to quickly get their identity back. What this is speaking to is the right to have their birth paper, the right to have a name, and the right to a nationality, where is it that they belong? however this right has now become twisted where the society is now looking at the child have the right to their own identity and here we have the inclusion act coming in where children are now being able to change their sex change their name say they're trans transgenders say they're boy they're girl or they're both or they prefer which sex from which from which other sex and under the human rights act they are protected now it is our duty as christians to abide by what the good book says we are governed by the bible separate and apart from us being governed by the convention rights of the of the, the children act 
we are governed by the whole book and it is our duty to ensure that our children know who they are and whose they are by the bible god created adam and god created eve and that is the direction in which we grow our children we grow them as male and we grow them as female we also have the right for our children to have identity and the identity that we desire of our children to have is that which is stipulated in the bible that governs the christian religion all of the religions have their books that govern them we have the holy bible and of such we must ensure that our children know their identity in christendom bless the name of jesus now, when we look at what the, biblical, the, the Bible says, the biblical perspective of children rights, I want to draw our attention to Deuteronomy 6, verse 6 to 7. And it says, And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou lies down, and when thou risest up. It is our responsibility to teach our children the Christian principles, the commandments, the doctrine, the norms, the values that is set out in the Bible as it dictates to our Christian religion. We have come short saints of God, and that is why our children are going astray, because we are quick to enforce the conventions of the rights of the child, and we are allowing society only to grow our children, not remembering that the same right says they have a right to religion. And the religion practice that we practice say to us that we should teach our children diligently the ways of the Lord, the ways of the scripture, it is our responsibility to teach them right from wrong, the, the, the biblical norms and values, the commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, and we know them. It is their right to be taught by us, for us to sit them down just as how other religions sit their children down and they teach them from their, their children what is it that is expected in this religion. Likewise, it is our responsibility. And hence, when we do that, our children will not go astray. It is their biblical rights. We are celebrating children. We need to get back to the core foundation of the Bible. And we need to ensure that they get it. Matthew 19 verse 14 says, Jesus said, suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For such is the kingdom of God. It is a child's right to be in the presence of Almighty God. And we have been weighed in a balance and we have been found wanting. Oftentimes, we build our own individual altar at home, which is good because we're supposed to seek the Lord and seek him in, his, in our closets. And having that individual 
relationship developing that intimacy with god is awesome that is that is where we get our empowerment from but the lord said we should bring the little children to him they have the right to a family altar we wonder why is it that our children are so disobedient they are so rebellious they are not groomed the way that we would like to see them groomed they don't behave wisely they don't behave well at school even when they come to church they are so disrespectful to, to others and to elders and this is because we have neglect the very foundation of our christian religion which is the altar of god we have not been bringing our children to prayer meetings not only at home but at church we are not bringing our children to bible study some of us when we get dressed for church our children are at home but i'm reminding us this morning that the lord jesus said suffer little children and forbid them not to come to me some of us have been weighed in the balance i repeat and are found wanted this morning and when it says children it does not have to be our immediate children we must develop a relationship with those in our communities our neighbors we're not imposing any religion any doctrine on them but if it's a case where they are in line with our religious practices then of course we have to encourage them to bring those children to god bless the name of jesus the scripture in proverbs 22 verse 6 backs up what this scripture said it said train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it It is our responsibility to ensure that our children get the core principle. We need to teach them what is right, what is wrong, what is accepted, what is not accepted. We need to teach them that sin is sin. Bless the name of Jesus. We need to let them know, especially for those who want to express themselves as it relates to the homosexual bylaws. We have to know, train our children, let them know that God created Adam and Eve. And there's nowhere in the Bible that it, it mentioned that God created Adam and Steve or Eve and Eve. You need to let them know that the punishment for this kind of act is death. Bring them back and show them to what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. Let them know that the Bible dictates that men shall become lovers of themselves. And that is exactly what is happening now and what is the end result. For the wages of sin is death. We need to train up our children use the ten commandments train them teach them to be young men teach them to be virtuous women teach them to be men of value it is their right to be trained and it is our responsibility as christians to train up our children just as how Rastafarian train their child in their religion and their doctrine. Muslim, they do the same. As Christians, we need to train our child and stop allowing our children to dictate to us that they don't want to come to Sunday school. They don't want to come to church. They don't want to participate in family worship. Saints of God, we have to get it right in order to save our children and when we save one child we save a thousand when we save two we save ten thousand 
we have to train our children in the way of the Lord, in the way of our precepts, in the way of our norms, our values as, as dictated by the holy book. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. The Bible also said to us in Ephesians 6 verse 4, and he fathers and mothers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nature and admonition of the Lord. We are found guilty. Some of us as, as parents are the guilty ones in the sense that we push our children away from Christendom. We push them away from the church. Yes, we must allow them freedom to express themselves freedom to find their footing in Zion. But we must do so with supervision. It doesn't mean that we're going to get up every day and we're going to nag our children. We're going to pressure them. We're going to say hurtful things to them. And I have to reinforce the emotional hurt that we put our children through. Provoke not your children to wrath. Some of us are the ones who provoke them to leave the home, to be disrespectful, to be angry. We have to do introspection as parents this morning. What is it that we have been doing? to our children are we doing it the biblical way are we doing it according as a matter of fact ask ourselves what would jesus do how would he handle this situation hmm? Does it mean that you're going to spare the rod and spoil the child or spoil the child and spare the rod, whichever way you, you, you want to look at it from whichever perspective. But we have to ensure that in conversation with our children, day-to-day -day conversation, we do not provoke them. We do not cause them to be angry. We do not cause them to be puffed up. We do not cause them to be rebellious. And I go back to what I said before. We are not too old to ask our children to forgive us. And some of us are wondering, why is it that I'm not this close to my child? Or why is it that there's a, there's a gap? There's a, there's a wide gorge between my child and I. If you do some introspection, you would have seen where you would have hurt that child. But it's never too late to take up the phone and to say, darling, I did some things to you when you were growing up. I've said some things. And I'm sorry. The Bible said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Oftentimes, we are the ones who start the war in our house saints of God, my God. Oftentimes, we're the one who starts the war. And then we want to call ourselves peacemakers. We wonder why our children are so rebellious. It is because of the war that we started. We have to strive to be peacemakers this morning. Bless the name of Jesus, because we are led by the Spirit, not of ourselves. So we have to strive to be peacemakers. We have to strive to uphold the biblical principles and doctrines. 
we have to strive to ensure that our children know their identity in Christ. They know who they are and whose they are. Bless the name of Jesus. It is our responsibilities as adults this morning to ensure that our children know not just the secular rights or the conventional rights of the child, but also the rights that govern them as Christian children. To, why is it that so many of our Christian children, by the time they reach college or in not even college, high school, they deviate from the path of Christendom? Something to think about. We are not doing something right. We are not instilling the Christian principles. The, the word of God states that as long as the child is trained in the way of the Lord, he will not depart. And I make reference to the prodigal son who went astray. He was trained the right way. He knew what good living was. And yes, he wanted to go out there and to explore the world and to find their own footing or identity as they state. But because of the biblical principles that was instilled in that child, because of the good living, because of the norms and the values, even when he went astray and he would have explored the world, he came right back home. The word never depart. But the problem lies is that when our children leave home and there was no training, training must take place before they leave home. We must teach them how to pray. We must teach them how to read the word of God. We must teach them how to speak the face of the Lord. We must teach them how to live by biblical standard and norms and values and precepts. And when we do that, saints of God, it will not depart from them. So as we go forward, I'm encouraging us to reinforce the biblical rights and the biblical principles of the Holy Bible that we use as our guide in our Christian religion. That which we use as our foundation core principles, we must ensure that we enforce these biblical rights in our children so that it will minimize some of the negative effects that are happening in today's society. Our children will not be named among the statistics of those who are misbehaved, those who indulge in crime and violence, those who indulge in other criminal activities, those who are named among those of teenage pregnancy. When we instill these norms in them, when we take them back to the core foundation, which is the family altar, society will be better because our children will not be named among the delinquent ones. I encourage us this morning, let us abide not only by the Convention Rights of the Children Act, 
but more so let us abide by the biblical rights and standard that is set out to govern our children god bless you all in jesus name amen Amen amen, 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 amen. If you have received amen. something, can you shout amen, amen, amen or type amen, amen, amen in the chat this yes. morning? Bless amen, the Lord. Amen. 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 I was in a conference session this morning. Mighty God, what a powerful, Amen. powerful, Amen. powerful, Amen. powerful Amen. presentation Amen. this morning from the woman of God. May the Lord continue to bless you, uh, my dear um, Lady Angelus Beecher. May the Lord continue to show you, hallelujah, with his blessing. I know for sure that I've received a whole lot of this morning. It's like a chock full, hallelujah. And you, you came to our level. There was not a word that you made mention of offer a sentence that i did not understand so i i really appreciate you thank you woman of god and as this week as we are focusing on our children we are praying for our children what a morning what a way to start it off i am telling you i i, I mean I, I feel as if i was in this conference where you know it, a big presentation about um the children i mean i mean i'm so blessed this morning i'm so blessed i'm so blessed i'm so blessed i'm gonna ask sister joy if she's able to pray for the woman of god this morning to go ahead and do so good morning good morning again faith walk hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus lord thank you jesus i am so blessed my heart is full oh my god father no god we give you glory and we give you praise we thank you for your goodness this morning we thank you for your loving kindness, your tender mercies to us this morning. We lift up your name this morning because you are God and God alone. We just bless you this morning for this woman of God, Minister Beecher, this morning. Mighty God, as you teach us all over again how to care for our children, how to love them, how to be respectful to our children. Father God, I thank you for the words that keep flowing through your servant this morning to our hearts. I pray God this this morning that every word may fall on fruitful soil this morning and we'll adopt them and use them mighty God to help our children to be better children oh God I pray that you continue to bless the woman of God this morning I pray God that she'll continue to shine wherever she goes mighty God in her neighborhood in the church wherever I pray your perpetual light shine upon her mighty God provide for her use her mighty God mighty God as a valiant woman woman use her mighty god in the name of jesus to restore family life oh god to bring back children to parenthood mighty god use her in a special and remarkable way this morning i pray god that your glory will come to shine upon her oh god i pray that the holy spirit will continue to educate her in such a way mighty god to help women mighty god and fathers mighty god who are abusing children in the name of jesus sometimes we think we're not abusing our kids is. but mighty god we do so and not knowing and thank you woman of god this morning for helping us to realize what we are doing some things is wrong bless her this morning oh god i pray heavens covenant upon her this morning mighty god she may never want she shall be used to bring glory to your name cover your daughter this morning cover her in a special remarkable way send destiny helpers for her this morning mighty god in the name of jesus we pray bless everyone this morning mighty god as i look to you by faith and i take the thanks for now in jesus name i pray amen thank you lord thank you jesus amen thank you. amen thank you, jesus. amen god bless you god bless you god bless you see like i just feel like i should charge for this morning you know <laughs> my god my god my god i am so full i am so full and i know that this is very helpful for the parents who are on this morning i know that you you know you have grabbed something from this um presentation this morning well put together i mean oh 
Oh my goodness. I am so, 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 so blessed. And if you want to listen to it again, I'm asking you to go over there, the Faith Walk channel, and you can definitely listen and send it out in your church group, people of God. Send it out to some mothers and fathers because these are the things that they need to hear. We need to learn from these presentation. They are very good good presentation i will say soul food this morning hallelujah bless the lord bless the lord bless the lord we're gonna go right into um i know um we're gonna ask you to place the children your 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 child your children your child grandchildren that's what we're gonna focus on them this morning we're gonna pray for the children this morning they know that they are very some of them are still you know bound but we believe god for to lose them I will believe the Lord that when they go to school, they will never be the same again. We believe that the Lord, that they will be covered under his wings because the adversaries, they're waiting on them, you know, especially those who are going to start high school. The enemy has planned for them, but we who know how to pray have to put God in front of them. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the children this morning. We're going to put them before God. God and evil if you think that your child, you know, uh, not at high school level, but your children, but your children, your children, because some are still born, you can't move, they finish college, but they can't do nothing else. We're going to pray for them this morning. So if you can, you can just leave your children's name in the chat this morning for those who are on YT. I'm going to ask you to do so also. I'm going to ask you to just leave them. And for those who are not able to type in the chat, you can just say who oh, your children are let us speak their names this morning and put them in the hands of the lord this morning so we can start at this time i'm not sure if um bishop if you're able to pray that's right lady anika if you're able to pray bishop johnson i'm not sure can you let me know if you're able to pray for the children this morning bless the lord bless the lord and I'm I'm gonna Morning. ask. Yeah. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Um, Lady K Mackenzie, are you able to pray also? Bless the Lord. I see them in the chat. I see them in the chat. See them in the chat. Bless the Lord. Lady K Mackenzie. I'm rushing out, sis. Not able now. Rushing out. Oh, yes. That's okay. And we cover you under the blood of Jesus this morning. God, good morning to you and bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See the names in the chat. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. I can't be able to. I'm not able to write, but I like yeah. Alexia Wilmot, Travis Wilmot. Anika Wilmot and Romario Thorny, Jada Bale, Jessica. No, oh, Jessica, that's going to be Jada Bale and Jessica. It's insane. I'm too small with grandchildren. So, um, let me know again. <laughs> that would be weird as well. But anyway, prefer especially Alexia this morning, you know, she started out and uh, last night she going on a new boarding home and she cried, she wants to go home. She don't want to stay in Kingston. So pray for blood coverage and that the right taxi will pick her up for me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. It's been for prayer for my grandson, Jay, in Connecticut. We'll be starting school tomorrow. Mark's in for blood coverage over him. He was in um he was in Texas, but then he had to leave there. So he missed the school that he was going to in Texas. And now he's in Connecticut and he's going to start a new school. So, you know, I'm asking for prayer for him. My granddaughter, Kimara, will be starting grade one next Tuesday. 
Dr. Max Enterprise for them and all the rest of children them that is going to school, you know, starting school for the first time, that God will cover them under the blood. Those are starting kindergarten, senior kindergarten, junior kindergarten, and moving on high school and college, you know, because it's very serious time now. So we just ask him for prayer for them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else? Morning, 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 morning everyone. Morning. Good morning, uh, mother. Yes, I've seen for prayer for my children, my neighbors' children, my community children, my country children, and beyond. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning. I'm asking for prayer for all my grandchildren that will be going back to school. Some is in high school, some is in primary school, some is going to basic school. And my neighbor's children as well, and my nieces and nephews. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm asking for prayer for all of my grandchildren, 13 of them. I'm asking for prayer for them, those in primary school, high school. I don't have any going off to college right now. Just ask prayer for them for blood coverage and not only blood coverage, but for them to accept the Lord as their savior. God bless you. Morning. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning. Um, first, I just want to say, oh, how much I listened attentively to the woman of God. And I tell you, the words are profound. And I just want to tell her that she should continue on this path. We're very well planned and very well executed this morning. I just want, I ask him for, for my sons and daughter and for my grandchild and also for my nieces and nephews and all the children in my community and our journey community in Jamaica. Good morning, good morning. I'm requesting prayer for my children, also the children of Tapasdan and Moravia, especially the young boys, because what I realize, no matter how good they are, graduation they will get for this and that award, but some of them will continue to high school. But after high school, most of them, we don't know what happened. So I'm asking for prayer to pray against the forces of the enemy upon our children here in Moravia and Tapalston. And I'm also asking for prayer for the schools that our children attend. Thank you. So, so, um, so Thousand, were you going to say something? Oh, no. Just listen. Okay, well, I want you to pray <laughs> also after Pastor um, Bishop Michael, um, you know, for the children. Those will be in the chat. And um, so I'm going to ask you for, to pray for those who are in the chat. I'm going to ask Pastor um, Bishop to pray for those that was um, spoken out. Bless you. You ready for me to? Yes, definitely. Lord, we bless you. We honor you this morning. Our faith looks up to thee, God Almighty. No other help we know. You are our help. You are our strength. In ages past, in this present time, God, you are our help. And this morning, as we come before you, God Almighty, we come before you with a burden on our heart, God Almighty, for our children. My God, we recognize that the world has um evolved into uh something different something that you have not orchestrated something that you have not god almighty called into existence and so god almighty we are bringing our children before you this morning and we are asking god almighty your coverage blood coverage for the children my god we lift up our, um each and every person this morning that have called out their child or children name, God Almighty, be it uh, the birth child or the grandchild, God Almighty, we pray your coverage, blood coverage, 
My God, those who are going back to school, we pray for COVID. My God, we pray, God Almighty, that you will make a way, God Almighty, even when there's no way. Hallelujah, my God, I pray for provision in the name of Jesus. My God, provide for our children, provide for the children this morning, God Almighty. Many a times, God Almighty, the children will go astray because there's a lacking, because there's a need, God Almighty. Hallelujah. So I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that you will open doors, open avenues, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, I pray for substance, God Almighty. I pray this morning, oh God, that there will be more than enough for the children in the name of Jesus. And as our presenter would have presented this morning, many a times, God Almighty, our children become rebellious because they are left out, God Almighty. Information was not given unto them, God Almighty. So I pray this morning, oh God Almighty, if there be any, uh, God Almighty, possible way that we have left out information, hallelujah, from our children this morning, I pray, Holy Spirit of the living God, that God Almighty, you will be the parent that you are and that you will fill them in God Almighty. God, I pray this morning as seeds are sown in these children, even now, God Almighty, as the, the parents are taking this burden and asking prayer for the children and grandchildren this morning, I pray, Holy Spirit of the living God, that you, God Almighty, will just cover them. Lord, we come against the evil one. We speak against the evil one that would want to come to eat up and to devour our children. My God, we pray against the spirit of incest. Oh, uh, God Almighty, and, 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 and homosexuality. We pray against the spirit of murder, gangs, and violence, God Almighty. We pray, God Almighty, against all the negative spirits, of, oh, God Almighty, that is lurking around our children. God Almighty, we rebuke the hands of death, and we rebuke the spirit of fear from all of our children, God Almighty. I pray that you will empower them, God. I pray that God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will empower our children. My God, you declare in your words that a little child shall lead them. I pray like you have called Samuel, God Almighty, you will call our children. Uh, may there be a Macedonia call this morning, O oh God Almighty, to our children in the name of Jesus. Uh, my God, call the children, O oh God of the nations. Call the children, God Almighty, oh God, in Jamaica, my God. Call the children in the United States. Call children this morning, oh God, even when they lay down their head like Samuel to sleep. Call them, God Almighty. Call them by their name. Hallelujah. And they pray, God Almighty, that when you call them, have them to understand that is not mommy call, that is not daddy call, that is not auntie call, that is not a brother call, but it is you who have called. God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, I lift up this morning. Oh, God Almighty, missionary Dawkins, um, grandchildren to you. Cover them, Lord. Oh, God, I pray that you'll cover them in the name of Jesus, God Almighty. Oh, God, other, other mothers that have called their children name, cover them this morning. Bless them, Lord. Bless them in their going out. Bless them in their coming in, in the name of Jesus. My God, do for our children this morning what we cannot do, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we silent the mouth of the enemy. Every hand that is stretched forth to our children this morning, that is not of you, that does not kneel them well, we cripple those hands in the name of Jesus. My God, in the name of Jesus, every mouth that is open at our children, that doesn't mean them well this morning, God Almighty, we silence them by the Holy Spirit. My God, every movement, God Almighty, that moves uh, against our children, that is not of you. We cripple them in the name of Jesus. My God, we break every chain, every fetter, every suppressing, every oppressing spirit. That don't want to come, God Almighty, and raise up against our children. We break them this morning. We place them under subjection. My God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray this morning, Lord, that you will just extend the borders of your garment over our children. Extend the borders of your garments over our children this morning. And I pray, God, that as we raise them up in the right way, that you will keep them in perfect peace even as their mind are stayed on thee. My God, we pray that you'll cover their mind. The mind is the battleground. The mind is the battlefield where the enemy comes to attack us. 
And we know that the enemy wants to attack our children from the mind. But I pray this morning, Lord, and we release a fire, a ring of protection around the mind of our children. Just cover them, Lord. Cover them this morning. Cover them in their going out and in their coming in, Lord. I just pray a blessing this morning upon our children. And even as we have some going to high school and a different level of school, we pray, Holy Spirit of the living God, that you will just bless them, oh God. And we pray, God Almighty, for success. We pray for your success. We pray for um, uh, we pray for physical success and spiritual success in the name of Jesus. Bless, lead God and direct God Almighty, our children, and help us, God, as parents, to be, 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 be good parents to our children. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Over to you, amen. 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 Can we get some more? Amen. Let us seal that prayer with an amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Praise God. Praise God from whom all blessing flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Father, we honor you this morning. We give you praise. We give you glory. Father, we come into your presence, God, this morning with a repentive heart this morning. And we ask, so oh God, that you will blot out our transgression. We ask, so oh God, that you forgive us of all our sins. And we pray, Father God, that you will give us a listening ear this morning. We come against anything that is inside of me, God, that will block this prayer. And we pray, God, that this prayer will go straight up to you because you are God. You sit high and you look down low. You are God. You are in touch with our very feelings. You understand our cry. You, you understand our petition. You understand our very groaning. You understand our tears. And so, God, I honor you this morning. I honor you as the unpredictable God. I honor you as the God who knows everything, the one who writes our story, the one who knew that we were going to come to you this morning on behalf of the children. And Father, we come, oh God, because we know that you love children. Even as you, Jesus, as you walk on this earth, uh, when the children were coming to you and the disciples were saying that you were tired, you said, no, -uh, let the children come. You also said in your word that if we don't humble ourselves and let the children, we sh will not take part in the kingdom of God. So we know God that you love children. Even in the desert when Agar was moving with Ishmael, mighty God, and we could, you said, you heard the cry of the Lord. So, Father God, we know that you love children. And so, Father God, as we bring the children before you this morning, thou knowest, thou seest, thou understand. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for everyone that bring a request for their children or their children's children, their community children, their church children, their nation children, their territorial children. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will honor these requests and we bring up these children before you. We bring up their environment. We bring up the household that they are coming from. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that God, they will come from good environment, God. Their homes will be good and godly. There will be food on their table. There will be a good place for them to sleep. I pray, oh God, that the word of God has been taught in the homes. And Father God, as they move from their homes to the transportation, 
Father, we bring the coverage over them on the road. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that they will take the right taxi. They will go on the right bus. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that they will be protected on the road. Father God, we come against the pretense, the mask of the taxi drivers who are not taxi drivers, the bus drivers who are not bus drivers, but they are just working to harvest our children, harvest them for sexual immorality, harvest them for body parts, harvest them for bloodletting. We come against them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children as they travel, oh God, to school, as they travel to different places. We cover them under the blood. We send a ring of fire of the Holy Ghost around them. We blind the eyes of the adversary. We blind the eyes of the demons who are lurking to enter our children who are there on the corners, oh God, leaning up at the side of the school, trying to sell our children drugs, trying to get them into gangs, trying to get them to use guns. We burn them right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We flush them out from around the school, even the vendors who are selling at the school gate, God. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that there will be godly vendors looking out for the interest of the children. Father God, we pray, God, that they will not stand up under the disguise of selling snacks and sweets. But God, they will not be selling the children drugs. They will not be leading them out. They will not be watching them. We blind up the eyes of the seers. We blind up the eye of the watchers. We blind up the eye of the monitoring spirits over our children, God. And we present them before you today, Father God, as they go in the classroom, as they go in the classroom this morning or next week or whenever they go, Father God, hey God, I put an angel, mighty God, hey no, Kosata, I put an angel over the very door over the seat that they are sitting on. Father God, we ask that you curfew the classroom. Father God, we come against, oh God, oh Father God, the principals who are doing some things that are not right, the teachers who are doing some things that are not right. Father God, we pray, God, that you will flush them out. Some of them, God, have altars. Some of them are blood suckers some of them are into some other society that 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 wants blood of the children and so god we come against it in the name of jesus christ we circle our classroom we cover them with the blood of the lamb the blood of the shedding one jesus christ the blood of the one who was on the middle cross and calvary father god we cover them under the blood we Guide them, oh thou great Jehovah, and we ask, so oh God, that our children will be safe. Mighty God, as for those who are going into colleges, those who are overseas, those who are not even used to that kind of environment, I pray that the peace of God will be over all our children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we pray, God, that the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit of God, will curfew the school environment, cover the school environment in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not sitting down. We are not sitting down and folding our hands. We are commanding our children to praise the Lord. We are commanding our school to teach the word of God. We are commanding our school to acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. 
We are decreeing it in the atmosphere that the agendas of the school will be fully covered by the blood of Jesus. We are decreeing it in the atmosphere that Jesus' name shall be sound in the classroom, shall be sound in the atmosphere, shall be sound wherever the children are. Jesus' name must be sounded father we look for the request oh god in the chat father god oh god remember Haley right now father remember Althea's request oh Althea Gail Miller about her request remember Jennifer Cunningham request oh god remember Marsha Madden request oh god remember Swaby request oh god remember Keona Wallace request mighty god remember Tara Black request in the name of Jesus remember Kalio Welch oh God remember Kyra Beckford in the name of Jesus remember Andrea Watkins request oh God Juliet Powell request Jaden Powell request oh God remember Cameron Swaby request mighty God Sandra Clayton request in the name of Jesus Faith Walk oh Spence request this morning remember Tara Beck request this morning morning god remember dj Nates michael this morning mighty god remember gibson request this morning father god remember kayon cray request this morning god remember omara williams this morning and their request Father God, remember Abigail Rose request this morning. Remember Anne Marie James request this morning, God. Hallelujah. Remember Nicole Maxwell Johnson's request this morning. Hallelujah. Father God, remember Anika Duncan request this morning. Remember Rona Dyer request this morning, God. Remember Ashley Gardner request this morning. Remember Nathan. We give you praise and we give you glory. Remember K Mackenzie request this morning. Mighty God, remember Shauna children this morning. Remember Natasha's children this morning. Remember Sister Carl's children this morning, God. Remember Christine Miracle Nick Nelson's request this morning. Remember the cards children request this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remember Claudia Morris request this morning, God. Remember Donet Francis request this morning. Remember Christine Miracle Nelson's request this morning. Remember Miss Joe Briscoe Foot request this morning, Father God. Remember Joan Bailey. Hallelujah. Remember what this request this morning. Hallelujah. Michael Color request. Remember Jesus AFP coverage request. Mighty God, we worship you this morning. Mighty God, we give you praise this morning. Remember Broomfield's request this morning. Remember Sandra Clayton's request this morning. Remember Tamara's request. Mighty God, Jean Monroe King request. Remember, oh God, all the children of the world this morning. Father God, you know them by name. You know them by number. Oh God, you know the very ear on their heads. God, no names cannot confuse you place cannot confuse you whether those that are in texas whether those that are in connecticut those that are in canada those that are in the uk those that are in the cayman those that are in jamaica father we glad oh god that you are jehovah shama you are everywhere space and time has nothing to do with you and so god we give you our children Oh, it's every child in Jamaica, divine coverage, every child in Jamaica, divine coverage, divine coverage, divine coverage. Our children must be the head and not the tail. Our children, God, must be lenders, mighty God. Our children must walk under the covenant of God. Oh, God, I pray for every parent. Oh, God, to get on the battlefield and to pray pray and to decree and to cry out for your own child in the name of jesus christ of nazareth 
Cover our children under your blood. Banco robo stato machete. Labo siende basai. Neko robo siende. We come against every plan. We bind up every evil plan. Every evil altar. Every evil association. Every evil food. Lord, we consecrate the food. Mighty God, we consecrate the very clothes that they wear. We consecrate the clothes, the shoes on their feet. We consecrate the water that they drink. Oh God, we consecrate the transportation. Mighty God, we consecrate their earring, their eyesight. Lord Jesus, we look to you for our children. Because your word said, Father, not all sakoshi, that children are an heritage. And we love our children today, God, and we present them in your hands. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost. We honor you, Holy Spirit. We bow in your presence and we say thank you for you for hearing us today. Thank you for covering us today. Thank you for covering our children, Lord Jesus. Hi, God, all day in the schoolroom. Thank you for covering the teachers. Oh, Jesus, thank you for covering the teachers. Lord God, cover the teachers. Give the teachers strength. God, give the teachers strength. Lord Jesus. Give the teachers strength today. Somebody help me to say strength for the teachers today. He is waiting. I just want to say, I just want to say something, um, Minister Let's. I want to say to every parent on this line, grandmother, auntie, cousin, whoever, on this line, mm -hmm. teacher, I want you to pray for your for your for your child or your grandchild's teachers, because it is not easy in the classroom. And when I say it's not easy, I'm talking about experience. It's not easy. And I know a lot of teachers probably on this line are some gone to work already. But we need to pray up the teachers because guess what happened? You and I have two and three children in our homes and we can't even manage them sometimes if we were to talk the truth. We can't no. bother with them sometimes and the things that they do and how they operate in our own homes. And I just want us to picture this. Those who are living abroad, it's a little bit different. They probably have 13 or 14 children in a classroom or seven or eight or nine but those of us who are in jamaica we are talking about we are looking at 30 odd children sometimes 40 to one or two teachers and we are talking about 31 different spirit 31 different upbringing 31 different attitudes 31 different bad ways 31 different good ways and some of the times when we, we when our children come home and tell us that teacher do this and teacher do that the first thing we start we start cost teacher since we are doing school this morning because this man was a very good teaching but since we are doing school let's get on to it minister let some of us we quarrel with the teacher in front of our children and when the children go back to school they have no respect for the teacher so this is the trouble that we're having in the schools but we ban it up in the name of jesus christ let us be good parents let us be good parents let us teach our children say yes teacher do this teacher said it let us go up to school let us go up to school to hear what teacher is saying let us not take it and quiet because we, we sometimes we can't test our children you know, if our children come and say mommy teacher say me head bigger me not have no sense i mean i come from we just say all right 
Let's go up to school to hear what teacher said. And if your child starts saying, no, mommy, no, but I'll go up there. You know that something is wrong right there. Still go. Let us, let us be wise as believers. Let us be wise as believers. Let us not be the ones to, to that they give a bad name to say the mother this and the mother that. Let us find out. Let us liaison with the school. We do people busy and time and time busy. But let us liaison with the school. It, it, because it is school and home working together to be, to, to, to have good children. The Lord bless us today. Let us remember, as we pray for our children, we pray for the teachers. God bless you this morning. Bless you. Bless you, woman of God. So, so, so true. People of God, can we just say amen in the chat? Or amen out loud? Can we just say amen? Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know if anyone has a testimony, even from the word this morning, to share with us before we go. I don't know. I'm just going to take one, two testimonies if you have any. I don't know if there's any burden testimony this morning that came here with one and you didn't get the opportunity to do so. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and do so. And then we can just close. Bless the Lord. Okay. All righty. Praise your name, the Lord. Yes. Praise his name. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing your mother. Yes, I just want to give God glory and to say that prayer works in whatever we do. Let us just continue to pray and put God first. And it's a praise report concerning my son. And I know many others. I came on the platform and when my son was doing CXC and I asked a prayer, praise God and the Lord has delivered. So I just want to say to God be the glory, great things he has done. And thank you for the prayers. God bless you. Ooh, I can't really scream this morning, but I want to scream. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I just want to, to, to I just want to to go a little further by saying he when he was doing the CXC, and when he got uh, when I look at the timetable, one of the day I was, you know, I sorry for him because doing the sciences and the, the, the timetable, you have a chemistry paper and a straight bio paper on the same day. And I was saying, Sister Litz, I was saying, my God, how oh, these CXC people, these people said these things, how oh, them wicked so because, you know, two subjects like that. And they, they, they had, he had it on the same day and you would know that other children have it. They set it one bio paper in the afternoon and chemistry in the morning but to god be the glory great things he has done he got the aid from the aid to god be the glory and I as i said prayer work yes. Yes. yes prayer works it work and let us continue to pray for our children and our grandchildren praise the name of the lord and sister let's i know you know when i heard you say this week is prayer for the children. God is leading you, ma'am. Continue to let him lead you. Tomorrow at Allison, we are having back to school fasting and prayer. If we, as the church and as the parents, just, you know, as our sister were ministering in the word, I was there listening and trying to see and looking where I fall short as a parent. Praise the name of Jesus, because none of us is perfect and all of that but if we just continue to trust god for them and if we in jamaica let me say jamaica 
prayer is made here in Alice, a prayer there, Santa El, prayer there, Saint Elizabeth, prayer there, Portland, and the church of prayer, Kingston, and we take it up. Tell me, God is going to hear our prayer and he's going to move the mountain. God indeed. bless you. God bless you. Indeed, indeed. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. This morning, I just want to give God thanks and praise, and I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I just want to say, as a mother and a grandmother, I just want to be a better mother and grandmother to every children, not to my own children alone and grandchildren, but to the children in my community in my church, around my environment. I want to be a better mother to each and every one. And as the word go forth, we must beg pardon. We must say, forgive me, I have done wrong. And that is one of the oddest words to come out of a, of a person's mouth. Forgive me, I have wronged you. So let us take the word. And if we have wronged our children, our grandchildren, our neighbor's children, let us learn to say, forgive me. And we will have a better nation, a better church, a better community, and the prayer will answer. God bless you this morning. Bless you. Bless you, woman of God. Bless you. Anyone else this morning? I'm going to give one more person a chance to testify to the on the word. Go ahead, Lady Jennifer. Yes, good morning, everyone. I was just saying. You were is off the school and and I thank you all for the prayers as I was saying and things are looking up so much better prayer to really change these things and I just want to say thanks and we continue to pray for her that God will put it straight to continue to extend and to go. Can you say who the person is? Um from Cayman? My niece. I had asked for prayer on this platform for her some time ago. She was having difficulty. She's in Cayman and she wasn't going to school and all of that. I don't remember if it was on that morning, but they all prayed. We all prayed and God really delivered. So she's off the school now and I'm grateful to God for what he has been doing. Thank you. Okay, I just want you to make that clear. Sorry, sorry, sister Alex, but uh, I mean, Sister Jennifer. Is that sister Jennifer? Man, a ghost pimple just <laughs> see ghost pimple just take me sister Letty and sister Jennifer testifying. What an awesome God! <laughs> Immediate. Um, the lady was saying in the morning that God, when God take your file and put to the top, it is right well put to the top. You know, it it it, it is. Uh, immediate situation and God just go ahead and just work miracles right away. He, he took it up just the very same morning and it was in action and it, everything is just okay right now for, 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 for some time I tell you I'm so happy to know that God is really really working. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. And that's Thank the lady, you know, Sister Jennifer. Lord. That's the lady, Mother Carol, right there. That's the reason why I said, what did you say? Because I really wanted her to hear um, the testimony this morning. So, God, heaven bless you, Mother Carol, and continue to pray. I know people of God, when you talk about women that pray for people, yeah. uh, we just say, people, pick me. I'm telling you, this woman and Mother Dawkins, they are persons who we can call on any time to pray for the children um, if you have a situation at all even when it, even when she wanted for when they want it for their children they're gonna pray for you to get it i'm telling you this these women of god i'm telling you and that's how we are supposed to you know to do it we are supposed to pray one for another even when you when you want the thing don't say me can't pray for you because i want it you go ahead and pray because woman of god when i heard you testifying about your son this morning i am like yes because she prayed for my husband she prayed for me she prayed for all the children i'm like god God is just rewarding your children. You may not get the reward, you know, mother, but your children will reap it. 
and I'm and, and I'm just praising God for you this morning. Your children, look at you praying for this woman that you don't know nothing about. And we came on and we pray for her. And look what the Lord did for your son. I'm telling you, God is indeed good. God is good. God is good. <laughs> My she told me, she said, Auntie, there's a big change. I talked to my dad, which was, was the Monday evening, and tears was in his eyes when I told him about how oh, oh, I've been treated and he had nothing to say and all of that. And, and she's tired of it and all of that. So God, take up the case from the same morning. In Come face. on now. A morning and there has been a big change so god can do anything and i was you know just telling god thanks through the day of, uh, of the fire and uh, uh, my sister my biggest smaller sister the day when we were talking and and the monday after the, the prayer meeting the morning and i say sister fire they are heavy weapon them today the change of one god them missing every Faith walk put on fire upon them today. So they're going to be a change. Daddy fly down a school and daddy fly go find out what is that. Mr. Fly, it was fire everywhere, sister. So I'm telling <laughs> you. Oh, look at God. Look at God, people. Look oh, at God. I am Praise just the here. Lord. And the, the tears Lord. just Hallelujah. running to God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God and men who pray, and there is success. There is when we pray, God will deliver, and yes. that's the word of God this morning. Thank you, thank you again. Bless you, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We continue to pray for these children. We continue to pray for you. Hallelujah. We continue to pray one for another. And yes, Bishop, they don't they don't just pray. I heard Bishop saying it in the chat. These women, they don't they don't just pray for you. They love you too. Oh my God, they love. <laughs> I mean, God is indeed amazing. When I'm telling you that these women, Mother Carol, I can you know, I I I, I, I don't want to get myself in you know, a trouble, you know, yeah, this morning so because I know that I'm other persons so do it. But I mean, when persons pray and love you at the same time, they're praying for you, they're checking up on you. Mother Kyle is somebody like, if she recommends something for you, she's going to call you and say, you do it. All right, you know, let me. And I mean, God is so good. God is so good. Mother Dawkins, the other day, something came up and I was here busy. And it was not even um her thing. It was us working in St. Elizabeth, but it was a joint thing. And the woman, Naga, just did her team and her. I mean, God is just amazing. God, you know, your reward are sure, woman. Your reward are sure. The woman, Naga, came in. She was here uh, ministering to us this morning. It's not only about your children, people of God. Help others too. That is, the, that is the focus this week. I know you, I saw persons doing it this morning. I said, place in the, your children in the chat. And I saw persons writing other people, you know, children in the chat also. And I'm like, God, you are so amazing. So you are not here just praying for your children alone, but you are praying for other persons, children also. And your reward are sure people of god your rewards are sure i'm telling you this morning i'm feeling blessed i'm feeling truly blessed this morning to god be the glory people of god we will continue to pray and press on for our children because we believe that this year um school year is gonna be a different it's there's gonna be an overflow there's gonna be a shift things that used to happen take place last year are for january coming down it will not take place in september in the, in the name, name of, of jesus, jesus. Oh, it Jesus. It will not cut it off in the name of the Jesus, Jesus of the blood of the enemy. We stop it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every night that used to take place in the classroom, in the school, we put that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that's what we are going to do. That's what we are going to do. We are going to believe the Lord. 
my heart goes out you know i i it came to me when mother carol said it and before i was saying oh my goodness i didn't even plan i didn't hear it from god though this week so you know um a day of fasting because you know we're going through the prayer but it's like i i heard like you didn't even plan i put down a day of fasting i don't know if a couple of us could join in online or you know tomorrow because i know that um alice will be praying if we could join even five six seven ten of us could join alice tomorrow in the prayer and fasting we can't reach there wherever you are but we could just join them in prayer for back to school tomorrow you can indicate if you are able to do so tomorrow tomorrow fasting you know they'll be doing it tomorrow anyone yes. we'll begin this then brandon they said some will be going to Bracket tomorrow for a day of fasting as well. Pretend to do work over there. Wonderful. Yes. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Tomorrow is fasting day at my church, so I will mention it. We will fa we will pray. Wonderful. Anyone else? So you say you start at nine, mother? Yes, the fasting begin at nine a.m okay Thank you. Anyone, anyone else from faith who would like to join you i know you go ahead lady no. i i will get up for a cut tomorrow tomorrow they're still on i will i will be i will get on we can just wherever we are we can just join uh we can just yeah. go on a day of fasting tomorrow and i see lady joy in the chat said sister joy said that she will yeah. she will join also all right so um, anyone else will go on a day of fasting uh, tomorrow yes yes i will wonderful yes i just want to um big up sister coral i can't get this opportunity to ask me this morning i don't know i am a new testament christian i go to new testament church but whenever i need her she can tell you she's the person I call. And if I want, if we, if my family needs prayer at home, Sister Coral and Sister Coral, no matter how sudden it is, my brother will say to me, I need Sister Coral to come. We are coming to Jamaica. We need prayer at home. He's not a Christian, but he always wants Sister Coral to come with her group. And the Reverend, Co she always says, I ask them, and Reverend Cook said it's okay to go. And so there is something about this woman of God when she prays. I don't know what may I tell you. Whenever she prays, there is something. I, I send my son's clothes to Jamaica because he could not come in person for Sister Carol to pray. And I'm telling you, I have seen a change in my son. This boy get up for school since school opening in um in august it opened all uh, in school here opening in august this boy gets up for school the other morning i heard him say oh jesus the bus is gonna leave me i'm late i'm late and i'm saying who could it be but god this people never want to go to school he said to me friday evening when he came in oh mommy i'm gonna try out for the um for, for, for soccer team we tried everything in, in in earlier to get him on the soccer team just to pull him out of his depression and he would not accept it and he Friday he said, I am going to try for the soccer team. Yesterday morning, he went, yesterday evening, he went to the park to play soccer with other young men. People of God, God is real. And as sister, like that. she doesn't want to get into any trouble. But sometimes you have to pick out these strong prayer warriors. There are, there's something about this one of God. 
and God, I just want you people of God to just conduct the prayer. Of, and I just want to also say congratulations to your son. God bless you, Sister Carol. Continue on this journey. Your reward will be great. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Let's pray for Thank me. you, Jesus, for Mother Carol. Thank you, bless Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless Lord. Bless Lord. Bless Lord. Bless Lord. I too would like to celebrate um, the same missionary doctor. Um, I, I, she's a mother. When I say she's a mother, she's a mother, not just to her own, but she's been yes. there for yes. us to yes. tick and thin. I can tell you about her and my, my brothers and sisters. When she knocks away at church, you know. It doesn't settle well with her. When 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 a when a woman of God, when a person can you know be at church and anywhere at all and don't see other children, you know, and in a settle with with them very well, it speaks value. And she she's always checking out for us, always praying for us, you know. So I know there are others on here too, and we're not we're not trying to sing you, but you know. We not to scatter the roses after the person, no, no, no. but we just want to celebrate these women. And uh, this great. morning, I, I thank you, Mother Dawkins, for all the investment that you have invested in me, not just me, but my brothers and sisters as well. Thank you. I mean, I bless you, and everybody just keep praying for these women as well. Thank you again to Mother Carol. No, I know you touch on my life um, sometimes um, during my years of Bible college when I came to know you. And I just want to say thank you as well. God bless you. Over to you, Minister. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I was just going to say, those scatter roses. I was going to say that too. And I hear the gentleman say, that say, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Go ahead, Lady Beecher. Good morning again, saints of God. It is a wonderful thing when we can really applaud the workers in Zion. And I stand in agreement with every words of, of praise and adoration this morning for the servants of Almighty God. However, I must caution us as we have lifted her name in the environment yes. the oh, enemy yes. has yes. also heard every word that was yes. said about her my god. my god the enemy is now making plans to limit her to stop her oh, to Jesus. set up blocks to set up traps to set up missiles to be fired in her direction so as we have lifted up her name praising her we want to decree and declare this morning yes. that absolutely no weapon Come on now. That is formed against Jesus. the woman of God Thank shall you. prosper. No, 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 no. We are sending a prayer of escape for the no, woman of no, God no. this morning. Jesus. And all those who have been lifted up this morning. Thank you, Lord. We Thank are you. sending your name in the realm of the spirit. No, no, yes. Jesus. We are saying to the enemy that you are chosen. Thank you are you. set apart. You are different. You are covered under the blood. You are chosen for this time. You are chosen for this season. The enemy will not stop you. There will be no limitation on your life. There will be no roadblock. Yes, there will be yes, no yes. sabotage in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. And Hallelujah. not just from the realm of the spirit. If there's any physical being online this morning, we come yes. against the spirit of yes, jealousy Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We take authority now in the name yes, of Jesus. Jesus. We decree and we declare yes, that there's a fence, there's a wall of fire that is erected yes, around you, around your family, around your possession, Hallelujah. around 
everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. We pray, God Almighty, that you will lead and direct the path of your daughter. Our God, she will go undetected under the blood and the spirit and the fire of Almighty God. We pray this morning, God, that you will give her an anointing like no other. My God, we pray that you will give her a double portion of an anointing now that will lift her up above the level that she's at. My God, we pray that greater work will you do in your woman servant in the name of Jesus. We pray, mighty God, that even when she moves the enemy, my God, kingdom will tremble it will fall it will quake my god we pray that your woman servants our heavenly father they will go about doing valiantly doing great things our god tearing down kingdoms we pray this morning god that your woman will be your battle axe to tear down a mighty god to tear down breaches to tear down bridges to tear down wall to tear down mountains to tear down cities that have been built by the enemy we decree and we declare that your woman servant will be a vessel which you will use to rebuild breaches to restore restore family to heal the nation mighty god to change the lives in the name of jesus we pray a divine blood coverage upon your daughter this morning, upon your servant this morning almighty god we pray that you will give her visions like no other we pray yes. mighty god yes. that you will give her the words to pray god and Come as she dedicates her life to you, Almighty God, that Hallelujah. which we do, Mighty God, according to your name and by your anointing, it will be for your glory, Almighty God. Ah, she will not take any of the glory, but it will be for the glory of man and for the edification of the saints here on earth. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we leave your daughter into your divine hands. Thank you, Jesus. And we say it is so. In Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So mm -hmm. remember tomorrow morning, people of God. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Beecher, for doing that. It was so, I was here talking while I was here talking. I was there covering them. I was like, I come against the spirit of bad man. In my mind, I was there talking and I was just there covering. And I'm so happy that you came out with that. God is indeed on this line, people of God. God is indeed here. He is right here. He is just right here on this faith walk prayer line, right here in the midst. Because what? The people of God are together. The people of God are together. And where we are, we are two or three, and we are more than that, is right there in the midst. Hallelujah. So God is right here. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So remember, people of God, tomorrow morning we're going on fasting. We'll be on fasting for the for the children who are going back to school. And also remember the teachers also. We're going to pray tomorrow. And we're going to be online until the Lord says break <laughs> you know so we're just gonna let it overflow tomorrow mother carol yes um and i'm trying to hold in it but just want to say that if persons are online who have um children who want to you know study overseas and the canada program like my daughter do it is still going on the jam can program i have the link still and also persons that might apply like to the the JDF are not hearing anything, then you know, I can 
um quarry it for you and see what is going on because to be honest i i i love young people i love children and i i, I said it already and i say it again i don't have education but i love to see young people with education and i push them and i just as oh i love my children and push them you know so those are some of the things you know the law just have used persons in different way i might not be up there preaching but god you know use in different way to help persons and all of that so if you know persons who, you know really interested in those are having difficulty then you know whatever look like can help and qualify you i'll do it god bless thank you Yes, 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 God. I, this morning I'm talking a lot, but I have to. Um, Mother Carl, I just want to let you know. I don't know if you remember when, before I migrated, you gave me the link. But at that time, I was going to migrate. So I gave it, I don't know if you remember the other nurse that used to work with me at the clinic. I gave one of the younger ones. I gave the link to her. I gave it to both of them, but, but one ran with it. And just to report to you this morning, I did not remember to tell you, but as you came on, I, I remember now. She she finished her course, she graduated with honors, and she is now working as a manager in some accounting firm. So I just want to tell you thanks again. Thanks. She, she hasn't forgotten us, and she always remembered that we allowed her to be in 